for so yeah uh, so hello guys on youtube that will be watching us so uh, just a quick explain how tnt works uh, tnt is a community for all uh, levels of english speakers right but there is also different groups of uh, levels, uh, different levels of groups of studies of different levels in different languages, just like uh, in initiated, uh, intermediate, and advanced ones, and uh, other languages uh, like French, Spanish, and Italian. But the live conversation meetings are not regular classes. We are not here to teach you anything. There is no um, uh, material, there is no homework, we are just here to talk and practicing our speaking together, right, in order to develop uh, uh, confidence and achieve fluence, right, and uh, I believe that's it, uh, we are just in one, two, three, four, five, we, I, I will not <laughs> split us uh, in breakout rooms because I think that is enough, but um, that's how uh, it works. So, Monica, uh, usually we start with uh, a, a quick, a short video to introduce the topic, just like I show you guys. And we uh, go through the questions. The questions are just a guide for our conversation, but we can um, create others or it's, it's 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 just a script, but we we do not must we 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 can uh, do whatever we want, right? <laughs> we don't need to be attached to it, right? And please, could you present yourself and for us and uh, tell us how where did you find TNT? Monica? Sorry. It's okay. Uh, my name is Monica. I am 25 years old. And I live in, in the Atuba, Sao Paulo. And my first time here. <laughs> and I am shy and I literally speak and and my first time training speak and <laughs> sorry for this. Um, I don't understand your question. Uh, oh. Got it, got it. Sorry, Monica. And don't be sorry for, uh, <laughs> we are here to practice. We all uh, commit mistakes and frozen. Uh, I was, uh, uh, it, it's normal, okay? Uh, so yeah, I, I question, uh, I, I was asking you, uh, where did you find TNT? Was on YouTube, Instagram? How did you find, and oh, let me see, talk and talk. Let me just try, give it a Sorry. try. YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> Thanks. So um, let me just, um, we can, uh, before we move on to the questions, we can present ourselves because I just know Ulysses, right? But Giselle. Could you present her, yourself for us, please? Hello, everyone. I am Giselle. I have 38 years old. I live in Spain. I am a little embarrassed to speak in English because I am an Asian and I this is <laughs> okay okay thank you awesome where uh, you are on spain madrid no and andalusia oh. 
Awesome. That's a so beautiful place. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Gisele. And you, Elias. Hello, I'm Elias. I'm 35. I'm here in TNT for about two, two months and a half. Uh, I found TNT, I don't remember. I think in, in YouTube, LinkedIn, I can't remember. Uh, I'm married, I'm a software engineer. I'm living in Teresópolis, Rio de Janeiro. Teresópolis is about two hours from Rio de Janeiro capital. It's in Rio Mountains. Um, yeah, I think it's it. Awesome. Thank you, Elias. Uh, and you, Ulysses. Hello, nice to see you again. Hello. Thank you. Good morning, guys. Uh, my name is Ulysses Ferreira. I'm Brazilian, but I live in Montreal, Canada. I, I usually talk in TNT a long time. I don't remember, but uh, last year yet. And I really like to talk here. It's a good place to talk, to share ideas, and to improve our English. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alexis. Um, so, guys, let's move on to the questions. Are you guys seeing it? The, the questions yes. on the chat, right? Uh, let me see. And uh, Elias, could you start for, uh, reading for us the question number one and answer it? And after yes. you, it, you can pick someone to answer after you. Yes. Uh, did you ever consider how the clothes how you buy are made? Could this affect or that could uh, change your choice at the time of passage? Yes, I have already think about it, uh, how my clothes are made, but I, uh, I really don't, I don't think about it, how, um, how, how impact uh, its cause and the impact of the environment of, um, and nature. I really don't know about it. Uh, uh, I I don't know uh, if I know uh, a, a kind of clothes causes a, a lot of, of impacts uh, more than normal. I want to uh, buy uh, that clothes, clothes, shoes, or anything. But I usually I don't I don't I don't ask for that. I usually don't ask. And about you, Ulysses, what's your opinion? Mm, no, I really know. Uh, I always look for cheaper clothes. So it's a important factor for me. And uh, a, a good subject to discuss because uh, it's a... Uh, Petrol problem and then another environment problem need to, to be discussed. But nowadays it's not a, a, a point that I consider when I will buy new clothes. And you, Monica? Uh, I think no. Um, I know consider this for um, <laughs> this is uh, and you, Gisele. Well, I think about it sometimes, but it's not something that makes me stop buying. Uh, 
é, é this question this question is like uh, is like food for example uh, uh, if you think about how uh, the meat uh, uh, bring to us the the uh, many farms produces uh, in in a big scale and and some farms use uh, I, I don't know the name in English, hormones to grow up the animals. And some uh, attract the, these animals very bad. But I mean, I, I'm like a barbecue. I don't stop eating a barbecue. Got it, got it. Yeah, just like you guys, I almost never consider this when I buy my clothes, just like Ulysses, I, the first thing I, I look is price, but I try to balance a little bit with quality because I like the comfort, right? But I, I do not like do a research about the company that made the clothes and if they are uh, environmental friendly. Uh, but yeah, this is something that, that is changing and, and there is um, there come they there's coming some new companies right just like that that I show you guys that uh, are bringing these new strategies right to do um, clothes with some unexpected materials right um, let me uh, now that <laughs> Elias mentioned it about barbecue and meat, I would like to to see your guys' uh, answer to the question number, let me just, nine. I wanna skip and I wanna hear you, hear from, let me see, Elias, for me. Uh, do you wear or support wearing real fur? Fur is the, the, the skin, right, of the animal. What, the, what do you think about the following pronouncement? I will fur just like I eat meat. Oh, I, it, it is missing. I found out this uh, statement in a blog. Uh, a girl was, was uh, typing this because she thinks that is stupid. Uh, it's a hyper, 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 I don't know how to say in English, hypocrite. Uh, if she eats meat and doesn't wear the fur, something like that. What do you think about it, Elias? The polemic question. Yes, it's very polemic. Uh, I think it's very hypocrisy. Because, I, okay, I don't wear uh, real fur. I don't know. I, I've, never, I've never bought clothes uh, with real fur. But... Uh, I think it's uh, very interesting because in carnival, many, many fur, many, many uh, penas de animais are used in, 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 in clothes, then it's okay. It's okay. But if you wear a real fur, oh, it is very bad. Hypo hypocrisy. I don't use it. I think it's 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 not cheaper, but uh, um, I think we we have to 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 think about how the animals are are, are, are atroid. But I, I I don't I I don't stop eating or wear something. Only for something uh, uh, said it's uh, it's bad. Okay, got it, got it. Let me see, Gisele and you. What are your thoughts about it? What do you think? Well, I don't eat meat normally, but. First, because I didn't, I, I, I don't have a got it. And 
I also feel sorry, but I don't judge. And it is, I don't judge. Um, as pessoas que comem carne normalmente, I don't judge, but, uh, but I don't, I don't meet, I don't, I don't eat meat normally. Okay, uh, you're a vegetarian or a vegan? I don't know if I got it right. Mm, vegetarian. Okay. Okay, got it. So, but it, the, what do you think about wearing real fur? Do you think that is okay or maybe we should uh, stop to, to produce this type of clothes? Mm. I think we could um, look for other forms. Um, other form, I think we would look for other ways of dressing and meat and eat. Sorry. And this is. Okay, got it. Uh, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, we have to, to get better in this two things. And you, Monica, what do you think about it? Um, I am vegetarian, uh, so I usually don't buy this product, the fur, uh, and not li I don't like, uh, but no, but no, my, my fight, uh, I stopped to eat meat, and the last year, um, but believe is personal. Got it, got it, yeah. And thank you. And you, Ulysses, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I, I don't use fur. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's a different point. Uh, with meat, it's a, a essential no? uh, because we need to eat. And some people like meat, some no, others no. It's okay. But uh, we have other ways to, uh, to reach our body. We, we don't need more for. <laughs> there are a lot of possibilities nowadays. So I think it's a discussion not necessary nowadays, no. But some people like yet. I don't know, it's, it's crazy for me. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So, uh, and I, I, I see your point, uh, I agree with you, Ulysses. So when I was um, researching for creating this, this question, I saw that, uh, yeah, there is, there is a cultural aspect, right? because there are some regions that they are so cold and in the past they use it, but nowadays uh, fur is a luxury, right? It's not necessary, just like the list is, was, and uh, Monica, I, I guess, mentioned that, that you don't, that we, we can use other things, right? Nowadays, but I was, I found really interesting what Elias mentioned about um, the, the carnival, right? I didn't think about it. The, the, the uh, I forgot how to say in English, just penages, right? To the, 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 to design the, the, the clothes, right? But I found out that uh, it seems that in where they, they 
the farms that uh, they create the, the, the fur, they, the meat is go, uh, goes to waste. It, it seems uh, they don't uh, use it for nothing. It's, it's, a, it's a little crazy because uh, it, it's, it's a little uh, pretty weird actually, because they don't use it all the animal, just uh, get the meat, meat in and get away for it. It's really strange. So I found out this statement in a, in a, in a blog and I, oh, maybe it would be interesting discussing with the guys on TNT. But it, it's a complex question and there's so many aspects we have to consider, right? But let me see. Let, let's go back to the question number two. Maybe Giselle could read for us and answer it and pick someone to answer after you. For how long do you normally wear the clothes? you buy and what do you do with those that you no longer wear well i use my clothes for a long time when i live in brazil i was much more consumerist but nowadays not anymore For how many times, how, how long, more or less, we can, um, you can estimate for us? Two years, three years. Yeah, yeah, just like me, I try to, to use for this period of time. Okay. Um, and you, Monica? Uh, I use my clothes uh, until it's over. <laughs> Uh, and by and by more two years usually. Okay, and what do you do with those you don't use anymore, or you just get rid of it? How do you get get rid? You donate uh, them. You usually uh, I. Do and I say fine English, uh, or uh, repair it. This has got to Okay, okay, got it. So, uh, so you you send them from donation, right? For donation. Yes. Got it. Yeah. When I I have some of on conditions to you to get used by somebody. I usually do exact the same thing. And you, Elias? Yes. Uh, I use my clothes for a, a long time because usually, uh, for example, the church like it, this, like this one. When it was new, okay, I use it normally to, to go out. But when it's uh, become used, you, uh, old, I use it only to stay at home, for example, to sleep. I don't use I don't use a pajama. I use the, uh, clothes, uh, more uh, uh, old, uh, older clothes. Um, then I I don't know. I use it for ten years. I, I have this this one for. 10 or more years. Uh, 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 some clothes, when not a proper to use, I, I, I make, I don't know the name in English, I make pano de chão with my clothes, my, my t-shirt. And when the clothes is, is in, uh, are good, I donate good clothes when, uh, for example, uh, uh, a near city, Petropolis, 
has a lot of uh, enchant, then uh, many people used to, to help the, the uh, people in needs. Then uh, I choose a set of good clothes, new ones, new, new, uh, new or in a good state, and uh, and uh, give for for donation. And about you, Ulysses. Uh, I, I like you change the status. <laughs> the clothes, you know, when the clothes it's comfortable, and the first time it's uh, close to go out, and the next level, uh, next level, it's uh, close to stay home, and the uh, next level it's uh, close to sleep, <laughs> you know, so, and it's the, the Finnish career that's close. In <laughs> a close sleep, and uh, I split them and give away in, in donation, donation because sometimes it's not good for us, but a lot of people uh, need it there. Yes, yes, definitely. So let me see. Uh, Elias. Uh, uh, Monica, Monica, could you read for us the question number three, number three, yes. and answer it, please. Uh, have you ever bought second-hand clothes? What do you think about this either? And good. Where, where I live, I don't find uh, many. But it's so, uh, so I I usually to buy new clothes, but I love it uh, just getting clothes used. So I like this idea. And you, Elias. I don't remember if I, if I bought second-hand clothes, but I use second-hand clothes. Uh, when, so, uh, for example, when my, my brother gives me some, uh, some t-shirts, um, I don't remember if I have already bought. Uh, my wife bought uh, in, in a brochure one or two times. I, I think it's a, it's a, maybe a good idea to, to save money. And about you, Ulysses? Oh, in Brazil, I didn't usually to, to buy, but here in Montreal, uh, there are a lot of specialized stores about that. And it's pretty common. Uh, we bought uh, a cold, cold clothes because it's expensive, and it, it's a, a, a kind of a, a kind of clothes that uh, uh, have a long time to use. You know, so and people uh, buy one one paca. Do you know what is paca? It's a, a, a long jacket. Okay. And and use one year, and they they got a weight. You know, it's not good for me. And they they sold this paca. Uh, fifty percent, uh, so seventy uh, percent. So it's it's uh, it's, a, it's a, a a good business for us here. 
Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Uh, in my hometown with my mom, I always went <laughs> for these pre-shows, looking for clothes. And yeah, it's a good idea. It's, it's pretty good to save money. And it, actually, we found uh, some good pieces with a really good price. And I sold someone some, some clothes, some pieces as well. Some. And it's a good way to, to, to get some money as well. And, and you, Giselle, what do you think? You, you have bought secondhand clothes? What do you think? Yes, I have bought uh, secondhand clothes. Mm, I find the idea of second second hand um, shops like Brachos in, interesting, but I have a problem regarding the cleaning issue. But between my friends and family, we will always exchange and sell things. Got it. But about the cleaning, you have uh, you had some bad experience with. Yes. Yes. Uh, you, I, you can share with us. Yes, I. 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 Bought a um, shirt. Shirt. And um, okay, I forgot the words. I confuse the words with Spanish. That's okay. You can say in Portuguese or Spanish. We can help you. Uh, I I bought uh, the shirt for my my husband, and they had a cheiro cheiro ruim. Compramos por uma aplicação e dizia que era, que era nova. E quando chegou tinha um cheiro ruim, sabe? Então, tenho problema com isso. Ok, but when you wash it, it didn't, there was smell, the bad smell, mm -hmm. did, didn't go away? Não. Oh. Era um snow. <laughs> so, you, you have to get rid of, of the clothes. Yes, It's oh. Of water. oh, that's bad. <laughs> uh, okay, I got it. Why you you don't like so much of buying things on brushes? Yeah. So that's a shame. Let me see. How about the question? Yeah. Let me see. Let's skip to question number five. Uh, Ulis. Could you read for us? And if you guys, I, I, I can explain maybe if you guys didn't uh, listen about this new concept. Okay. Have you ever heard of fashion concept called capsule wardrobe? What do you think could be the pros and the cons? Of it, I don't know what is the capsule. Yeah, the, so capsule war wardrobe is um, a tiny wardrobe uh, where you have a, a small amount of pieces that combine with each other, and then you can uh, set different outfits with less clothes. You know, you have a. a Not too much pieces, but they can you can combine them differently and create different looks. So it's like a minimalist concept. Okay. And and we don't have a lot of clothes, but we can change with the other people, no? That's no, it? Uh, is you and, and uh, Your, your clothes, your own clothes, they are different pieces, but you have uh, uh, not too much pieces, and then you can, you can combine with each other. They, it, 
usually they are uh, from neutral colors and create different looks with the same clothes but using them differently and combining them oh okay you can okay. you but it, 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 it's a uh, it's just your clothes you 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 don't exchange or with anyone and mix them and create a new look new fashion yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's difficult for me because I like uh, black shirts and jeans, so <laughs> I, I, I can't change a lot my, my look, but I think it's a, a good way, uh, maybe uh, when we like to, to travel, to move on, I, I had this experience. I I had a lot of clothes in Brazil, and in general, when I moved on to Montreal, I I needed to give away uh, a lot of clothes because oh, I, I don't have space to to come with me. And nowadays, I I I, I was a concept about that. Yeah, I. I only buy a new clothes if I give you away one, okay? Awesome. Uh, and, and yeah, because I always will have the same quantity. Awesome. My mom has this idea, and actually, in the last week, uh, I think <coughs> Gabrielle mentioned that she does it as well. So I, I found the, the the definition, right, from this, this capsule wardrobe. And let me see. And you, Elias, what do you think? Would you, you tr give a try to, to build a capsule wardrobe or no? This company is look like, for example, I, I use a jeans with a blue the church with your green t-shirt uh, is it uh, kind of uh, 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 it, it's try uh, you you try to to get less less clothes and and try to to ah okay sound not not too much repetitive but with less clothes and combine them to create different things you know ah uh, yeah I understand it yes mm. I've never heard about this constantly, but I do this just a little, not in neutral colors. But for example, I don't have a lot of clothes. I have some clothes and I, I usually uh, I, I usually com, uh, combine with uh, combine, uh, 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 jeans with uh, at the church, uh, a social, Church, there is a lot. Yes, I, I do this a little, but not only in neutral colors. Okay, I don't use I don't use uh, uh, verde limão. <laughs> I don't use, <laughs> but, but uh, not only neutral colors. I, I have some uh, clothes: uh, black, uh, green, uh, green not. Um, uh, blue, red. Yes, I think I do this a lot. Uh, a little. Got it. Got it. Thank you. And and you, Monica, what do you think? Did you have heard of it? What do you think about the idea? Uh, I don't see cons uh, in the capsule wardrobe. Uh, I think the capsule wardrobe and minimalist is wonderful. Uh, I like the shirts and, and the color neutrals too, and black, white, uh, and like jeans. So I bought less clothes, but bets clothes. 
I think okay. so. Okay, so you you like of uh, and are uh, an adept of minimalism. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, actually, we are we're talking of last week, Charles. Uh, uh, the other guy, uh, he mentioned that uh, he's just like Mark Zuckerberg, you know? <laughs> you know, um, Steve Jobs, they, he used almost the same clothes every day at <laughs> the same time. And I was like, oh, awesome. I, and, and, and he said that he don't spend too much time, too much time uh, choosing and something like that. It's kind of it, right? And you, Giselle. Well, mm, I like the minimalist concept, but I don't think I would um, adapt to this type um, of dressing concept because. Um, because I don't, I don't know. Okay, yeah, I just like Giselle, I, I like of the concept, but I don't, I'm not pretty sure if I would, would make it because it's, uh, for me, it's a little difficult because I, don't like too much of neutral colors. I like bright colors. My 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 clothes are they wouldn't match so so good so <laughs> with each other. So it it could be a problem. But I I would like to give a try. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see. We are running out of time. Maybe I. Would we could skip for question number ten? Then it's about uh, these uh, different uh, clothes that are made from these different ma materials, wasted materials. Let me see if Monica could you read for us and then answer it. Question yes. number ten. There is a sustainable fashion brand whose slogan is don't make waste, wear it. Uh, what do you wear clothes made from Western materials, patch bottles, bottles, mushrooms, spoiled milk, etc. And it is difficult. Uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, a lot of uh, clothes, uh, these matters. Uh, and I think I never see one. So uh, I like this idea, but I don't know by this clothes. And <laughs> even even the ones that the t-shirts on the, the video that I show you, it was just like a common t-shirts, but it they were made from milk. Just like uh, on the video that I show show you. Would you spend some maybe some uh, a little bit more? To 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 have one one of one of these. Uh, I don't like milk, <laughs> so <laughs> in this second. But I like this this shirt this video, but I don't use it. Okay, got it. You wouldn't use it, and you at least. Uh, I think polyester is made from pets or something like that. I think, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure. 
But uh, yeah, I use some clothes of, uh, made from polyester. And it, I think it's a good idea. Um, I've never used clothes from milk, but I think it's a good idea too. It's, uh, uh, for example, if I can, for example, uh, in future, if I, if I can uh, take my trash in somewhere and uh, the trash uh, make me, uh, for example, some piece of, of socks, I use it. <laughs> uh, uh, for example, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm so lazy. For example, I, I, if I had a technology, of this, I, I, I use my trash to to take um, uh, disposable socks, for example. Use trash, make a disposable socks. Use the socks, and then just <laughs> I don't know. I think it's it's interesting if uh, we use, uh, use uh, I think it reduces the reduce the 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 wastes. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, just like you, I I would wear it, but it would depend of the style maybe and the price as well, <laughs> because unfortunately these materials uh, they are not so affordable. Yeah. And here, Giselle, I want to hear from you. Would you wear it? Some pieces of. Well. Um... I think is, I think is very cool and interesting. Some flags um, that some groups raise, but I, I believe that many times the industry uses it also in special and um, we can see in the veganism, vegetarianism, um, many times the industry, um, como se diz, um, É isso como um, uma bandeira deles, né? E transforma também em fashion. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, guys, let me, we are running out of time. Uh, Ulysses, could you uh, answer this, this one uh, quickly? <laughs> Maybe, sorry, <laughs> because we are running out, out of time. Yeah, I have no problem with the, to buy that if they have a good price. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Point. Great point, great point. <laughs> so guys, I'm I'm sending you and for you on the chat some links, right? The first one is uh for you send your feedback about this specific meeting right the second one is for our talk and talk uh website you can check more details uh, about the plans right and the link to for our youtube channel you can uh, subscribe and see all the videos right monica already knows it and I want to hear from you, Monica. Uh, uh, what do you think about this first one, your first experience here? Could you share with us, please? Uh, I like so much. Uh, I less shy. Uh, and I love it. Uh, for uh, interest and uh, this so um, I'm very happy to hear this from you and I'm really thankful for all of you guys 
being here <laughs> with me on this meeting. And that's it. I have to finish. Sorry, because Artemis needs <laughs> she is the next one and it starts at 9, 9 a.m. But that, 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 is, that is it. <laughs> I hope to see you guys on the, the same time, the, on the next meeting, same day, same, same time. Okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a bye great bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, guys.